like we built the brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't happen. We are culture. Nothing moves without us. This is my set from the bottom of my heart. I got it on me. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. I got it on me. To absolutely nobody. Ha! Ah. We're back. Tailgate. You love it or hate? And if, if you smell it, there's something magical in the air today. Strikes are being thrown. Spares are being made. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's magical, it means we are at... Majestic. Majestic lanes, my man. I don't like the lanes, but I love the food. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> hey, welcome to the tailgate. Yes. Talk to me, who are you? Yes, I am the one and only Papa Picante, Rudy Feliciano, with they call the ever so best two-time champion, welterweight two champion. Sure. <laughs> yes. Mr. Sicario himself. Yes. Friendly neighborhood Sicario. Yes, sir. Julio Hernandez. Yes, sir. We got a good one here. Yes, we do. New Jersey Northeast. We're in my old house, my old His, home division. So many old houses for this guy. Yeah, I've been in the UVA a really long time. That just means you've been around the block too many times. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> but every house is my house. Sure. That is, that's, that's the way I look at it. I see that. I am officially a bowling thot <laughs> when it comes to the lanes. <laughs> you said that, not me. <laughs> So for all those who are... No, that's another bowling thought that's about to pass us. Oh! And he's a thot thot. Oh! <laughs> Yo, so Adam, what's up, baby? To the bar! <laughs> to the bar! Let him know. <laughs> on today's show, we're going we're gonna to take you around the UBA. This one's going to be a short trip. Yeah. Couple of stops that happened over the last week. As we're getting closer to playoffs, it's yeah. getting more serious. We're starting to see where the divisions are starting to line up. Exactly. going to come out and be ready for the playoffs. we got some big wins. Who did it? Yep. We're we got gonna 40 have... pieces? Any 40 pieces today? We'll find out. We'll find I out? I don't think so, though. Uh, big shout out to Powerhouse, though. Y'all were very helpful. With our uh, what had happened was what had happened was we, we appreciate that we hope to film one today and, too and, and trust me don't get forty piece when we're around because we are gonna talk to you and yes. you're not gonna but we will run you down with a camera and a microphone yep. and find out what had happened what had happened okay? was okay <laughs> so, after we go around the UBA uh, we're gonna have special guest Mr Tom Twist Tom Twist he's gonna join us the commission the commissioner yes of the UBA. He's going to help us reveal Gordon's top 50. Yeah. Everyone's so... Everybody I, that's going to be interesting because, you know, he's UBA commissioner. Yeah. He can't show any favoritisms. No. So this should be pretty interesting. I just want to know if he, if he can read the top 10. No, he can read. We'll take, we'll take it from there. But I want to hear I want to hear some of his thoughts. Be a good one. Julio Sicario's thoughts are not the best. <laughs> it's a top, uh, tailgate. Are we doing and saying Tom Twist can, cannot read. We're doing yeah, this. You just I said never that said, can read. I did not say he couldn't read. I said I want to know if he can read the top ten. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't say he could or could not read. I would read. say agree, See, not, this is, not this read. This is 2022 now. All right? So I don't need the cancel culture no, uh, no. upon me. Yeah. No. No. All right? So, Tom Twist is going to join us. We don't need to cry on video, feed. live feed. None of that. About where we're bowling. No. <laughs> no. Just stick to the call-outs. We'll take yes. care of those. Yes, we will. <laughs> After that, we're going we're gonna to go jump into the preview uh, of the North, New Jersey Northeast. Got the tour stop matches here. Yeah. Big matchup featuring uh, Class Axe. Yes. Uh, one of the top 10 teams in the UBA. Class Axe, yes. They're going against Latino All-Stars. That's yes. going to be oh. great. One thing to say. What's up? Say it to Arsenal them. Arsenal is cheating. Say it to Arsenal them. Arsenal is cheating. Arsenal is cheating. Arsenal is cheating. I could believe that. I could believe that. They, they, they're a little too good for one reason, you know? <laughs> they can't be that good. I think it's because it's Nick Gavron's not wearing bowling shoes. He's not. He's not, he's not getting a stone nine again what either. What is he in? He, he made, well, that wasn't a stone nine. That, that, that was that, a split. That was an ugly was a ass throw. That's not the Dick Gavin that we know. I don't think so. No, that's not. <laughs> and la last but not least on this show. show. Hey, what up, man? <laughs> hey. uh, we, always, we always end it with GG, Gordon's game. Gordon's game. Yeah. We're... Nick, Nick, what are those? What are you wearing? Because those aren't bowling. What am I wearing? Yeah, what are those? Those are T-Max? Oh, yeah, My man is rocking the T-Max shoes. Two. Okay. So, it, we, we, we're going to, listen, stick around. You're going to see the raw clip later. I'm taking a, I'm definitely filming those. Yeah, those are nice. Okay? I actually Don't like worry. those. We're going to film those. He makes it, he, he makes them look good. <laughs> All right? Listen, you put in two plastic balls. That's
show now? Let's go. Let's go. Because we're on some old next stuff. <laughs> Let's go around the UBA. Around the UBA. Uh, again, a short trip, but yes. see if there's any 40 pieces. We're going to start in Connecticut. Uh, New, New England North. All right. Oh, okay. They, they had a tour stop on... I thought you were going to say the magic word. New England South? Heat. Oh, heat. <laughs> we'll talk about them later. Don't worry. Shout out Corey. Shout out Warren Wiggins. Yeah. yeah. Always. Shout out with that big tournament. Uh, what was it? Uh, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Good shooting. Yep. Good shooting that day. I think they cashed. They did cash. Oh, they got bowling balls, I believe. They got some bowling balls. Yes. Yep. So no cash. No you cash. Got, you got balls. But they showed up. They showed up. <laughs> they showed up to a place that's exactly where they're supposed to be at. Yeah. I would have been surprised if they, they didn't travel the 20 minutes to a spot in Connecticut. Facts. Like they live 20 minutes away, but, but it's all right. But try to get them over here to a tournament in Majestic. <laughs> anyway, listen, New England North, they were at Lassard Lanes. Yes. Uh, two teams not New England Heat. You had number 31. In the UBA, the Auburn Maulers, they're the second place team I don't right even now. Know that team is, bro. They're, they're the Auburn Maulers. Um, they're seven and two right now. On oh, tour, that's, a, that's an impressive record. Yep. They do they're silent killers like type, so uh, to speak. Somewhat, because we don't know who they are, but apparently they're they're, 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 they're doing better. their thing. They're good. So take seven and one. That division, it's it's pretty good. Yep. They took on Mop Nation Militia. Shout out to Joey. AKA Joey Naru and the, the crew. Uh, that, the that's crew. what I'm gonna call him. Joey Naru and the, the crew. It sounds like one of them 80s groups. Yeah. Uh, the Bombers like right now, they came off their bye. Yeah. Uh, looking to gain some ground. The first place team, and there's another ranked team, which is Identity Crisis. Right. See so if they can close the gap there on there. Okay. Uh, Joey Naru and the crew decided to spoil the fun. Really? Uh, Mop Nation Militia, they took, they took the win here. They won 26 14. I was really scared to root for Mop Nation. Yeah. Because of the last 40 piece they got. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, they weren't showing good. No. So I'm happy that they actually messed up somebody else's record now yeah. and taking that win. Congratulations yeah. on that. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll tell you this. Steven Dale Jr. shot 298 from Mop Nation. Now, all right, from Mop Nation. <laughs> they wound up taking the Team Wood by two pins. Woo. The Team Wood in a match, that's 10 points. So if he would have made 300, pins. he would have had four pins. <laughs> right, but it was good enough for them to win the team wood by two points right. to get those ten points that they needed to get this big win. Right, and and honestly, I think that this is a heartbreaker right now. Right, uh, for Auburn Maulers, they really needed to win here. That's true. And and it doesn't help Identity Crisis. Also, they got a win, uh, thirty-two to eight. So they're gonna lose a lot of ground there. Wow. And, yeah. So that's tough. And here's the other one. Their next matchup for the Auburn Maulers, they've got reloaded next. Oh, they're losing that one. So, yeah. They're losing that one. Good. Yo, Joey, and, and, I just made a prediction. Let's go. Well, Let's that's, go. That's that. But, Joey, listen up. I'll take that. Your next tour. <laughs> listen up. Because <laughs> Wow. Okay. Yeah, appreciate you. Wow. Appreciate you. Just got charged so, five dollars for Corona. So <laughs> check it. To Joey Nuru and the crew, yes. aka Mop Nation Militia. So, your next matchup is against Identity Crisis. So good luck. <laughs> so, now for nothing, the, the division there is definitely getting tighter, and I like that. It's a I good, do like it, that. I mean, that's a good. That's, that's a top good. Four yeah, teams top four teams right there in that division. Yeah. Not in the UBA, but in that no, division. No, but in that division. Yeah. To the DMV, we're gonna go to DMV North. Right. They were at Greenway Bowl. Really? Uh, yes. They were, that was there on uh, Sunday the 24th. Okay. The number four team in the UBA, Outrage. Outrage, we already know what they can do. Yeah, everybody Heavy knows about Outrage. Humongous lead. We talk enough about Mr. them. Mr. Happy, 9-1 and one right now in the division. Yeah. They took on another ranked team, number 45, Hot Pockets. All right, Hot Pockets in third in the division. They're 7-2. and two. I just think of a microwave. When I hear that name, I'm just like, yeah. Hot Pockets! Hot Pockets. <laughs> like, come on. The, the, so, so listen, um, Outrage, again, they're on a five-match win streak right now. Yeah. Since, since that loss to Impact, they're, yeah. really, they're really showing. They're showing why they're Outrage. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, you know, Hot Pockets, they won their last two right now. Right. And, you know, this is the second time I think that they've gotten on this list, yes. on this top 50 list. Yeah. So, I mean, but it's it's only right Outrage gets on it. It's well, just... Outrage right now here, no upsets here. No Outrage upsets. takes a, a win. They win 28-12. Kind of knew that was uh, happening. Well, check it out. Hugh McGainey. Oh. 
If you don't know that name, aka Go Accenture, like yeah, like, Hugh McGainey just, is is legit. Yeah, all right? uh, he shoots, and he's your bowler's bowler. He's probably like your favorite bowler's bowler. Listen, I, I shout out him. I bowled yeah. with him at Mega Bowl. Yeah, as a machine. Yeah, he's a machine. He's Definitely. a machine. Good guy. And, 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 in general, and, and, like not just no, a good bowler. You're like nice a good guy. bowler, a good person. Yeah. Yes. Check it. He shoots two seven eight, two five seven, two eight nine for eight twenty four. Uh, against hot pockets. Does he even so. have an average? Did he just come to UBA and say, "Me, my average is 250? It's 250 plus." Like, plus like yeah, sure, yeah. like yeah. So <laughs> now with this, with this win, now outrage, outrage has a 53 point lead right now over second place, which is Impact. Yeah. And they haven't taken the buy yet. So even if Impact 40 pieces, they'll still be in control of that division yeah. or in first place. Okay. So, and their next matchup now, the next matchup they have is going to be against the Stoners. So they should they should keep that you know, keep that train rolling. Hot Mess Express, big shout out to Hot Mess Express. I actually like the stoners. Hot Mess Express. What's Racist stuff for this blow that you're about to get. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, this is this that's gonna be a tough one there. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one there. Yeah. Hot Pockets is still in third. Yeah. After this. Kryptonite. Uh, it's the fourth place team. They're on their heels. All right. So, I think that might be the the hail mary. Cause if, they don't go against Kryptonite next. No, they're they just don't. Snipping at the heels. But that's what I'm saying. They're snipping no. at the heels. But they're in playoff contention, which is the key right. thing. You want right now? If you can catch them, catch them. But if you're in playoffs, right. Make sure you do your thing. Get you know. Yeah. Hot pockets. They have the Vipers next, so you know. Oh, okay. From DMV North, you're gonna go to DMV South. All right. Yeah, another good they, division. They were at Bowl America Woodridge. Yeah, that's uh, another good division. Woodbridge, sorry. Bowl America Woodbridge. You had DC Mafia. I feel like we, we I, I feel like we, we, we threw a dark cloud at them. No, they threw the dark cloud at themselves so, when they know, said they wanted all the smoke at Battle Bowl. No, but that, that's natural because as anybody, that is, natural. that is a natural thing. If you're a bowler and you're not like one well, Weebin Frame said, um, if you don't come supporting yourself, there's no sense. Exactly. You know? You're right. There's no sense. So, I mean, I, I respect that. But, yeah. and they backed it up until we started mentioning the, what, we started what we said. About that, but all of a sudden, yikes. <laughs> it's like, so, it, hey, gets, it gets there. It gets there. It's listen, like, they're still, they're the number 19 team in the UBA. They're 8-1. They're still in first place. They took on second place here. Oh, yeah? Uh, they took on second place. Did they get is, some space which there? Which is Magna Carta. Magna I love Carter that right name. now is 7-3. Seven, 7-3 three. Seven and three on Whoever came up with that name, you were thinking. Yeah. You were definitely thinking. Well, I think they were looking to go back into the top 10. Yes. Uh, DC Mafia right now. Yeah, they should. Yeah. They should. Magna Carta has the clouds. All right? <laughs> uh, 35-5. Big time win there. Big win. Wait, this is their second big loss. Yeah. Well, DC Mafia, they did they did come off a win, but that is second. That's the second big loss. Uh, uh, here's the thing. I mean, you the, talk the, about the, your dominance the, in your division. The handicap the handicap pairs were really close in this match. Right? Yeah. Scratch was it? Scratch. Was I say it. everything begins in your handicap pair. Yeah, you always you know, say that. Yeah, I always the say handicap that. pairs are, are more important than people think at times. Yeah. So, Magna Carta now they got the win. They're sitting in third, but they haven't taken the bye yet. So that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough because yeah. the buy is so late. And, and uh, they got about, what, three more games? Three more tour matches? Just about. Just about. Uh, yeah. That, that's kind of what might hurt you at the moment. And Magna Carta, they're going to draw the contract killers next. Right? Ooh. Now, here's the other thing. DC Mafia, they're going to fall down in the rankings, obviously. When yeah. I, but it doesn't mean they should fall off completely. No, I don't think they'll no. fall off. I think they're still one of, uh, probably a top 25 team still in the NBA. But Facts. There is no way that DC Mafia can have another performance like this. No. Not no. in that division. No, definitely. I think, it's I too think close. It would, I, would, I think it would bury them. And the thing is, their next matchup is against Straight Business Cartel. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Jared DeFalco of Body Bags. Team you like. I like that Shoots team. 300 that day. Oh, okay, congratulations, man. You made are it we, 300. Are we by Mr. Carry on. Okay. Hey, take a little bit of carry. There you go. When in doubt, when, when you're in New York, please go to Paradise Lanes, the new Paradise Lanes. In Yonkers. In Yonkers. Awesome. Yes. Um, from Yonkers, we're going to go down to Long Island. My division. I like Good that division. division. They were at AMF Babylon. 
Yes. All right, on Sunday, you had the number 11 team. Royal Flush? Royal Flush. That's, that's one of my, that your that's team? the team I like. That's I like that team. team. Yeah, that's your team. They're, they're in first place. They're at eight and one right now. They're not really talked about for being in first place at that. Yeah. And uh, no. they took on the Long Island Legends. You out, Brian? They took on Long Island Legends. Okay. So Long Island Legends was a team that was ranked also in here. Now, uh, Royal Flush, they're coming off a win of, against Killer's Grip. It's right. another top team up there. Okay. And they've won six straight. So, surprising there. No, it's not surprising. That's a strong team. That's a strong yeah. team. Long Island Legends, no slouch again. They were ranked. They've also won their last two. Right. Uh, so, I thought that this would be a pretty good test for Royal Flush. This right. would definitely be the one team that, if they can be, would deserve, they'll be deserving of a top ten spot. Facts. Uh, one word here. Cool. Lopsided. Who do they pounce on? Royal Flush wins this 38 to 2. <laughs> Just like that. All right? And, uh, and let's put it this way. For Royal Flush, Damn. you had, a, you had a, a 299 from Thomas Gregg Jr. This and, is, uh, yeah, from Royal Flush. And it's not Royal, enough, though. How I mean? No, they won. And also for Royal Flush, Michael Cantante shoots 300, 267. 269. Say that again. Michael Cantante. You want me to say the Spanish way? We don't talk about. <laughs> El Cantante. Yeah. El Cantante. <laughs> you want me to say the Spanish way? No, Michael El Cantante. Eso es. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, shoots 300. 267, 269, 836. Right. Leading okay. the way for Royal Flush. Here's another interesting stat. It wasn't just them, all nine bowlers. For this matchup, averaged 243 as a team. <laughs> so it wasn't just them two. Uh, so shout out for that. Damn. Uh, that's a big win. Can we say China? Chi China. 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 I, I don't know if there's anything better than China because that's what that was out there. Yeah, that's 243 as a team is insane. That's a, that is insane. Yeah, that that's definitely gonna put you in the top 10. You're yes. also gonna be win. They're winning the division by 40 points. Easily. So. Easily. Yeah. Um, the Legends, tough loss. The loss now puts them completely out of a playoff spot. And Killer's Grip is a team that's now moved into that playoff spot. I like so Killer's Grip, though. A lot of people do. I, I like Killer's Grip. They're that one team that's just outside the top 50. And they, a could, lot of they people, could do a lot of damage. They could. They could. They could. They could. They're, 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 they're in that that territory where they're just outside of there, but it's a team you don't really want to see. They got Mr. Incredible two-handed himself, Will Watson. Yeah. yeah. They got, like, the big head himself. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 um, they're silent. This is killer's grip. Yeah. They're just off the radar, but you have to watch them out. Yeah. You have to watch out for them at all times. Definitely do. Uh, to New Jersey Northwest. They were at... Are we really going to talk about this, bro? We're, we're going to talk about it. Why not? They were at Bolero, North Brunswick, also known as Carolier, for, uh, for those that don't know. This is another team that I really feel bad for now. Well, this was a position round yeah. uh, for them. It's, at a this crucial, it's a crucial time. You had the number five team right now, the Garden Foundation. They they have found it, all right? They're in first place. They're DGFO old now. Yeah, they're in first place. They're eight and two, and they took on Murder, Inc., which I think is a rematch, if I'm not mistaken. Murder, Inc., right now, ranked number 24. Yeah. They're six and four right now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna. Oh. Yeah. And uh, and the garden is blooming. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. The garden is blooming. <laughs> All right. Uh, and again, this there's is a no, rematch. So there's, no, there's no dead flowers there no more. No. There's no <laughs> that is uh. That garden is blooming. Murder Inc. Again, they 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 had a matchup against DGF early in the year. Murder Inc. lost that match. I yeah. think they're, they're looking to avenge the loss here. Yeah. Um, it, the Garden Foundation, that garden's still blooming. They, the Garden Foundation wins this 32-8. to 8. Okay. And it was it was more like the scratch team swept, one of the handicap teams swept. Just not a good performance from Murder Inc. And my man Q would say, they put out all the whole PBA against them. I, I think so. <laughs> but here's the thing. That's a tough loss right now for Murder yeah, Inc. When you look is. at it. When you're in that position. Well, they're 0-2 against DGF. Yes. But also, they're 1-5 in their last six. And, and I mean, You really went digging. 
Listen, listen we, we brought out the struggle. We got, we got, sometimes you got to go into the stat book for real, but they're one in five in their last six matches, which is something that probably people wouldn't normally see. You know? At this crucial time, bro, I just, um, I would like to see that division, the three exit wounds, uh, Garden, Murder, Inc., um, and actually, my, my, my pick as a wild pick will be uh, surprisingly DIY wow. okay. for their fourth spot. Um, okay. Actually, no, well, we got Mark Carinari also on the on the outskirts. On say, the, po pocket Kings. Pocket, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like. Uh, and I'll tell you this, if you want information, Pocket Kings, I think at this stop, I don't have it in front of me, but they, they took on exit wounds and they beat exit wounds. Yeah. So... Uh, Pocket Kings, if I think with that, I would, I would say by maybe Pocket Kings, they, maybe they, more they, against they, they have a, they, DIY. Maybe. Maybe. maybe, maybe the top four right there yeah. that's setting up the roles, and yeah. I think yeah, everybody got to start crossing their T's and dying their eyes. Well, if you want to talk DIY, DIY is actually going to go up against the Garden Foundation at the next tour stop. So. There, there, there. Wait, wait. There, that may be. Is Chris you going to bring his Chuck Chasen jersey? Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> If, if Chris Shank Sr. will bring his Strike Tyson jersey <laughs> and wear it at the tour stop, Facts. we'll find out. Yes. Uh, DGF has a 41-point lead right now right. in that division. Right. Murder, Inc., they're going to go against the takeover next. All right. A chance to get a bounce back win, but they're gonna need to win desperately right now in the division. Just, just for some pride. I don't, I don't think Tiffany Smalls and the crew is gonna let that happen. Well, Phil, it, it, it's not know. gonna be something easy. I know That's that. not gonna be an easy task, but uh, they are likely to probably win that match. Yeah. 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 To the New Jersey South, uh, they were at Kingpin Bowling. All right. You know, shout out to the football report. Because I, I, I did get a, a chance to review some of the outcome. Gotcha. Uh, on that. Okay. And uh, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. A lot of people really fear number one team, as rightfully so, AC Express in that division. Yeah, they're, they're definitely the number one team yeah, for they're, a reason. They're, 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 they're ranked solid number team. 16 right yeah. now in the UBA. Yeah. They're 8 and 1. Right. They're up by a lot. Yes. Uh, here they took on the Syndicate. Yeah. So. They know. They know. They know. Big shout out to Tim and the fam. Jen, my, my actually my holy partner. Yeah. Oh, I think we got a we got a friend now. Well, could let me see, let me see. Over here. Come on, nephew, nephew, nephew. Come over here. We're gonna bring him back in the later uh, for for one of the things. But in case you didn't know, JJ Floyd. Mr. JJ Floyd, Mr. Front Nine, pop and show your face to the camera. Uh, we got something new with the UBA, and Mr. JJ Floyd himself will be introduced to the later today. And I'm gonna tell you go do your job, and we'll be right there. Let me know. I'll let you know. Aha! Right. Uh -huh. Yes. There you go. And uh, uh, back to this. Back to this. AC Express. Yes. And I hate Ross. Oh. <laughs> let me know. Um, I, Okay, <laughs> it's not really okay. I can't say hey. I, that's a strong word. It's 2022. 2022. Yeah. So <laughs> at the end of the day, we're gonna go with. Uh, I dislike Ross. His, hey. his sportsmanship, I guess. Okay. How's that? I, I I I never met him, so okay. I can't say anything about it. You okay. Know what I mean? That's cool. Um, that's cool. But I do I do love Mia Williams. Yeah, uh, Mia Williams is probably the best thing ever. <laughs> uh, AC Express. They come into this matchup, they just 40 pieced. Uh, was it Bulletproof? Second place team in the division. Yeah. The stop before that. Facts. So there's a lot. That train is. Woo -hoo. That train is. Now, and no Mia Williams here. I'll say that. Damn. But. And, but, and they still were able to bulletproof. I mean, but, 40 piece bulletproof. Jeremy Peterson. Right. Oh. Shoots 300 okay. for AC Express. Okay. Um, as they roll over the syndicate right here. Okay. And Syndicate, I mean, no match here. There may have been an Eddie Ross sighting there was at a, this match. No, there was a Ross Senior sighting. See, that's a, the father takes all the, the drama for the son. I can't. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I already there, know. There may have been. Thanks to the FUPA report. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, even though they lost the Syndicate, they do have an outside shot at a playoff spot here. Yeah. They, they draw a uh, nation of domination next. Who, the Syndicate? Nation of Domination. Yeah, I know, but the Syndicate is playing them, or is the it? The Syndicate, yeah. Oh, I, a a AC Express. I'm definitely going to put the Syndicate into playoff status in that division. But they're outside of they're, it right now. No, they're outside of it, but they can make it. Yeah. Uh, Tim Morgan just has to get his, you know, get it start together. his ducks together and yeah. start getting it going, you know? Yeah. Uh, AC Express, 
They now lead this division by 61 points. I I would call this division over now. I think they're they're gonna. Oh, they clinch. They clinch. Absolutely. And uh, the next stop on the AC Express is on a mission. Right. <laughs> That's their next matchup. And uh, I think they need to be on a mission. Well, so AC, AC Express, Express is right now the team on a Hopefully mission. Hopefully they uh, they made the derail and an upset. But yeah. I doubt it. I mean they're gonna move up from 16 in the. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I'll see them in the top 10. Yeah. Uh, we'll find out. Who AC Express? Little, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they'll get into the top 10. They're, I don't know what Gordon's they're, thinking. They're so. showing. Yeah. We don't know that. In fact. But that's, uh, the, they're, that's always. They're the definitely issue. showing uh, a, a lot of potential from being. Preferably unheard of yeah. in the UBA to, to this to being their year, basically. One of the, yeah, yeah, to maybe a breakout year or yeah. something like that. Definitely, uh, they definitely they, they would I, they would be just outside the top ten for me if not. And just interesting, in the top interesting 10. enough, she has somebody going in for a cruiserweight also. Yeah, yeah, I'm not so, surprised. So not surprised. you know, it is what it is. Let's see how and it I goes. got and I got to finish off with this because I this is just way too fun for me to do every time. Shout out to. David Adams Jr. of On a Mission for shooting 299. Tony, okay, I'm not gonna go hard on him because I, from what I heard about Kingpin, that house is like the hardest house ever, and it's not a really good shot, a consistent shot. So you went 299. I'm not gonna go and complain about that, but okay, good shooting. That's how's that? I'm surprised. I'm surprised that because you're like, oh, it's not an honest score. Uh, it's not an honor. What happened? <laughs> it's your I, I was I was logged on to the to the the, the Instagram page. You're getting soft. And yeah. You're getting soft now. Okay. Man. <laughs> but Kingpin, I heard it's, it's a hard shot, so it is what it is. That 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 wraps this one up. Oh, exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, when we come back, we're gonna have Tom Twist on here. Yes. UBA is the commissioner. Mission. Yep, the Mr. Big Man himself. We're gonna we're gonna have him talk about Mr. this. Mr. Uh, Authority. Mr. Authority. We're gonna have him talk about Gordon's top fifty with us. So yeah, we come back. That should be pretty easy. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we'll